most reverend Dr. Francis Kalarakil is the Metropolitan Archbishop of the Roman Catholic Church of Latin Rite Archdiocese of Verapoli in India. He was appointed by Pope Benedict XVI on 20th February 2010. From 1978 to 1986, he served as the Social Action Director of the Archdiocese. He was then appointed the Administrator of St. John's Medical College, Bangalore, which is established and managed by the Catholic Bishops Conference of India. Archbishop Francis Kalarekil is the Vice President of the Kerala Catholic Bishops Council and Kerala Regional Latin Catholic Council and Archbishop of Verapoli. He serves as Vice Chairman of the Media Commission of the Kerala Catholic Bishops Council, Chairman of Cardinal Gary Pontifical Seminary Episcopal Commission and KRLCC Publication Jeevanadam. We are indeed blessed to have with us today His Grace Most Reverend Dr. Francis Kalarikil, the patron of our college, to preside over the function. Let me now invite His Grace for the Presidential Address. Students of this college, 
you have a great future. Because those who are here learning, studying, not only the subject of this classroom subject, but also as Reverend Father Clement, the manager, pointed out in his welcome speech, this college offers various occasions for each and every student to grow in its totality, not only by acquiring knowledge, but acquiring other qualities, other elements that will make the personality totally grown, integral development of personality. That is why Father Clement was speaking about practice and training given to the students in yoga and other sports and games. The total development of the person. That is the purpose of our education. The society, each one of us, each one of you, my dear students, who are especially those who have reached the final year of completing, those who started with the, this, when this college began, started two, four years ago, and you have reached its final stage. You are just before getting out of this college with your official professional certificate. You will be great persons sharing your knowledge with others, those who are living around you. Not only sharing your knowledge, but also sharing the qualities and virtues you have acquired in your life. That is why ISAT, we can say, is center of excellence and center of value. Unless a person is gifted by faith and moral values, no matter how much education, how much, how many degrees he may have, how many doctorate one may have, but unless he has other gifts, other qualities, such a way that people will respect him and love him, then only your other life, mine and your life, will be useful and meaningful for those who are living around us. Whether they are our friends or enemies, looking at our life, when they see certain attractive qualities in our life, they will naturally, they may have an inclination to imitate such qualities. And for that, we are grateful to God for having given this opportunity for us to establish this engineering college. It's not that we have lot of money, but even though it was a financial burden, because of its importance and seriousness of education for the future generation, we sacrificed our other conveniences for this great professional college. Four years ago, there was nothing in this place. This place was filled with the rubber trees, as we see nearby. Four years ago, Albert Einstein Institute of Science and Technology, when we laid, blessed and laid the cornerstone, there were, there were many people to witness to that function. And after four years, our tree has been realized. And the students who started the first year, four years ago now, they are almost ready to get out of this institute filled with, endowed with knowledge and virtues and
qualities, the life of a human person, no matter what religion he may belong, she may belong to. Faith and belief in God is very important. That is why the great saying, faith is the beginning of wisdom. We believe in God and we depend on God for His blessing. And when blessings are showered upon us, we become strong and empowered. When we depend on God, we have nothing to fear. He will be with us. He will be moving with us whenever we are traveling. Students who are here every day, you are moving from your own town to this college and going back. While you are traveling, you need your coordinator. And God will provide that help to each of you. I don't want to speak more on engineering since I am not an engineer. But I can say that uh, the life of human person and the life of Women's society, engineering has a great role to play. And I wish each of you great success. Let you be persons, human persons, endowed with a lot of human qualities, endowed with other gifts which are needed in the, in the person of, in the human person, such a way that. Each of you, each of us, when we become a good Samaritan, filled with compassionate love, especially in this college, as I told you, have started the Ashwas, which is to mold the students of this of this institute to be persons of social concern and social commitment. And that is why you have decided to donate a house constructed for a poor lady, a poor woman who is helping here. And before we end this meeting, we are going to bless the corpus store of that. Oh, I wish each of you great success, a great future. Let each and every one of you be a person like good Samaritan, a knowledgeable person, loved and liked and respected by the society at large. With these few words, I can prove my words. God bless you.